This is a 700 watt pure sine wave output unit with lithium ion batteries on the inside. It's very simple to use to turn on the AC, the DC or the USB, including even the light. We just push and the unit will turn itself on. It does have an included BMS, a battery management system on the inside that is very high tech and it will not drain the batteries when it is not in use. So this is not something that you have to charge every month. It will store the batteries at the same place and keep them at the same rate as it was put away. Let's just check this out. Since this is a pure sine wave unit, it is meant for the USA, so it should be 120 volts or so. It's going to also be 60 hertz, so we have 123.3 volts, and that is perfect. Let's just plug in a charger. We're going to go to 125. That is actually spot on to what you're going to find in the receptacle at your house. If you want to charge this, you can charge this via your car through a 12 volt adapter. You can charge it plugged in through an AC adapter, or you can take it outside and use its included MPPT, which is a solar charging base unit on the inside that will even take a pretty dull day outside, not very sunny, and make this unit charge at the fastest rate that is possible. Now you have a very smart screen here. It's color, it's very nice. You can see at this point in time, we're outputting 130 watts, and it's telling us 3.5, 3.6 hours till empty. It tells us we have on the AC, it's at 60 hertz. We can push on the DC. We can push on the USB. It tells us everything that's down here. The USB has two normal USB-A outputs at 2.4 amps, and you have one quick charge at uh, 18 watts. You also have a USB-C output that is a PD60, or 60 watts. In the center, there is a cigarette lighter adapter or anything. So if you wanted to even use this backwards, if you had something that would work, you could. That is going to be 12 volts. You have a light here in multiple different modes you just keep pushing and then if you want to turn them off push and hold just like anything else if we want to use more items on this we can plug in a second ac outlet here this will turn on a fan we're back to about 130 watts out this charger is going to vary its charging rate. So we're going to see that go up and down. The nice part about this also is that it has a safety system included inside. So if you happen to plug something in that is going to use too much power, it's going to turn itself off and let you know. So this unit should overpower this. And then it's giving us an error code here with the AC overloaded. So at this point in time, we just unplug this stuff. We're gonna even unplug our charger just because push and hold to turn the AC off. And then to reset, we can just turn the AC back on. At this point in time, plug something in and it will be up and ready to go again. Very simple, easy to use. If we want to turn everything off, we can just push and hold. The unit is off and it will again use the battery management system inside to make sure that all the cells are charged equally, balance everything out, and if we want to turn stuff back on, it will turn itself back on, go through its startup, and we're back in business. Very nice, affordable unit, very small. It doesn't weigh a whole lot, and there is a lot that you can do with this. It is something that you can travel with. You can use small tools. You're gonna to have to stay away from a lot of heated items because it is going to be a max of 700 watts out, but it is a very nice, long-lasting unit.